welcome back to my channel thank you guys for tuning in again i really appreciate those of you that keep on coming back and watching my videos if you guys are not subscribed to my channel yet please don't forget to do so and don't forget to give me a thumbs up at the end of this video and yeah let's get right into it okay so first off we're gonna start off with my primer by urban decay which is in the color eden and we're gonna go ahead and start applying this all over our eyelids and make sure you guys blend it quickly because this really does tend to dry really fast oh I got it on my hair okay so just blend it really quick because it does get dry really really quick okay we're gonna start off by using this palette right here by ColourPop QAF palette and it has such gorgeous colors in it I love all these colors they're like fall colors I love them my favorite favorite it's this yellow one the first color we're gonna be using it's the yellow we're gonna go ahead and put it on our crease and yes we are not going to set our eyelids and we're gonna start packing it on just like so And if you guys hear some pushing, that's my baby crying. Well, he's not crying, but he he's just staring at me. But he just ate, so he should be fine. Okay, so once we have the yellow all over our crease and below our brow bone, we're going to go ahead and dip into... Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and dip into this color right here and this one right here. I'm going to go ahead and combine both of these colors together with the B Bella Cosmetics RG215 brush. I'm going to mix both of those colors and tap off the excess. And I'm going to go ahead and go in. No, you can't be crying, Sebastian, okay? No. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I brought my baby with me. She's right here. I have to rock them with my feet. Um, so, okay, so we're going to go in with this brush and we're going to pick up both of those colors. We're going to mix them together and we're going to go ahead and apply this right inside our crease. This is a very easy look. It just requires yellow, orange, and like a burgundy. Um, color make sure that you guys drag it all the way outside before I wouldn't drag it all the way inside and every time I would do my eyeliner my eye there would be like no eyeshadow like down here because my eyeshadow would always end that end up like up here so I learned to drag it all the way outwards and make sure you guys blend it up towards the yellow but just don't pass the yellow because you want to see that contrast in between I'm gonna go ahead and take this brush by Morphe it's Morphe M170-8 focus okay there it goes it's this flat brush right here I'm gonna go ahead and spray it I'm gonna go ahead and just spray you can just spray it with water or like any um any setting spray that you guys have and I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this purple purple not purple I'm gonna go in with this um orange shade right here it's a sparkly one it's like a glittery one not glittery one but it's just like a oh my god I just dropped my Amazon highlighter and oh my gosh no I don't know what I would do if it freaking broke but anyways um we're going to go ahead and start placing this on our lid. Instead of like blending it upwards, you guys can drag it and kind of cut the crease. But it's not a cut crease, if you guys get what I'm saying. Just, just like that. Okay, so once we put that orangey shade in our lid all over our eyelid we're gonna go ahead and go in with i guess we can use the same brush we can go ahead and spray the brush again 
And we're going to go ahead and take that gold color in the palette, which is this one right here. And I'm going to pick up some of that eyeshadow. Make sure you guys pick up a lot. And then I'm going to spray once again. Just so that I can give it more of a pigment. Hopefully it does. And this eyeshadow, we're going to place it only on the inner eyelid. Okay, I sprayed it too much. Okay, so you guys can put more eyeshadow if you guys sprayed it a lot. And make sure you guys place it in the middle. It's going to make it look like a sunset. You know when the sun's going in? Like at the beach and it just looks like this. It's so pretty. The only thing with this palette is just that it doesn't have an eyeshadow to highlight your brow bone. So you, as you can see, um, it has this one that I can use, but it's a matte. And when I highlight my brow bone, I want it to pop. So I'm going to be using my Amrezy highlighter, which is this one right here. I am obsessed with it. I already used it so many times. And I'm going to go ahead and um, highlight my brow bone with this. Like seriously, like, did you guys see how I did not even wet my brush? And look at how pigmented it is. Can you guys see that? Yes, you guys can. And I'm going to be using a wipey to clean up the excess fallout on the bottom. Did I grab two wipes? No, it's just one. And when you guys wipe it off, I'm not going to be doing eyeliner for this look because I feel like it pops more without the eyeliner. That's just my way of thinking. So I'm going to go ahead and clean it up. And when you guys clean it up, make sure you guys... um shape it upwards like this today i'm gonna be using eyelashes from amy june lashes in the style eve which is these right here right here okay so meanwhile my eyelashes are drying i'm gonna go ahead and prime my face i'm gonna be using the smashbox primer water um look at how much i love this it's almost gone i have to go get a new one we're going to go ahead and spray our face. This is a bomb as primer, you guys. This seriously is. I stopped using it probably for like eight months or so. Or probably like a whole year. Yeah. And then the other day, um, I was like, I'm going to use it again. And then I, I used it. And then I used my Frankie Rose foundation and I mixed it with my Estee Lauder one and oh my gosh this combo is like the best do you guys see those eyelashes you can better go buy them and use my code it'll help me okay and then after that is done I'm gonna go ahead and go on with the rest of my face um I just recently got this morphe um not beauty blender but morphe sponge and i love 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 it it is so good it's way better than the beauty blender the original the pink one um and i also bought the real techniques one the orange one but oh my gosh i hate that one it's horrible okay so i'm gonna go ahead and start applying this on my face Okay, so first I'm going to be putting the Frankie Rose um, foundation. And then after this one, just because this one, it's, a, it's like not dark. But I like my face to really look like, um, not like porcelain, but really full coverage. So I'm going to first place the Frankie Rose foundation on my face and then after that i'm gonna go ahead and go in with the estee lauder foundation and put that one on top because the frankie rose is more mattifying to me and then the estee lauder one it gives you more of a glow 
which I love. And I'm going to be using the color Light Neutral. And I'm going to mix it with this one. Because this one's too light. And then this one's my right color. So I'm going to go ahead and mix both of these together. And I like the outcome that it gives me. First I apply that one and then after that I go in with the very light one and I apply a tiny bit of this one. And then I got a brush on my, what is it called? My boxy charm. It's this brush by Crown Brushes. It looks like this. And lately, I've been doing my concealer with it. I've been blending it out. I like the way it comes out. But you guys, these eyelashes are bomb. You guys seriously need to go get them. You guys need to order them. And make sure you guys use my, my discount code. You guys will get, I think it's 10% off. So yeah, don't forget to put my discount code in there. I'll go ahead and um put it right here somewhere. And also I'll go ahead and link it down below. Do you guys see how well this brush blends out your concealer? And it doesn't... Usually brushes, they tend to make you look more patchy, but not this one. This one just blends it out so nice. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to use another brush that I got from the BoxyCharm box for the month of February, which is this one right here. And I'm going to go ahead and use it to set my under eye. And I'm going to be using my RCMA powder to set that. Give me a mod. That's my baby. He's talking to me. He thinks that I'm talking to him, but not right now. Your mom is busy. Go ahead and finish the bottom of my eye. I'm going to go ahead and use the same palette, QAF palette. And I'm going to go ahead and take this brush from Morphe M562, which is this one right here. Right here. And I'm going to go ahead and take, you know what, I'm going to take this orange color right here. This one right here, we haven't used this color. Start blending it on the bottom of your lashes this is the eyeshadow pigment i'm gonna be using this one it's in the color kitten karma and to apply it i'm gonna use the little thing that it comes with and i'm gonna go ahead and place this on the inner corner of my eyes it'll make my eyes pop i'm gonna go in with the white eyeliner i'm gonna be using this one the next pencil the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk. And I just recently got a new brush for my eyeliner. It's this one right here. It's the Morphe B21. It's just a little tiny brush. Because I don't like applying I don't like applying it directly from the little pencil because I feel like it gets inside my eye. Okay, so place this on the bottom waterline and what this is going to do it's going to open up your eye and it's going to make your eyes look bigger next up we're going to go ahead and bronze our face i'm going to be using the Too Faced chocolate soleil and chocolate soleil 
And I'm going to be using this brush by Morphe M405. This one. I used to be in love with my Hula bronzer, but I've been liking more of a darker contour. So I've been really liking this one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose. And I'll be right back. I'm going to use this blush that I got in the BoxyCharm. It's by Pure Cosmetics. It's called Bronze and Brighten. Which, this is the packaging right here. It's like a white plasticky. And then I'm going to be using this one right here. Do you guys see that? It already kind of has highlight in it. I like it. I, li I like it. It's really cute. Okay, so we're going to go in with this one right here. Look at how pigmented it is, you guys. Do you guys see that? And this highlighter is so bomb. Look at this. You guys don't even you guys don't even have to wet it. First, I like to tap it. Like this. And then I like to go in with some more. And tap it some, tap it some more. Do you guys see that? Oh my goodness. I honestly think this is one of the best highlighters I have. Oh my god, that was bomb. My camera died but I did went ahead and did my lips with the color Ashton by Anastasia Beverly Hills which is this one right here it's like a brownish color and and then I went ahead and um highlighted my nose and what else did I do I think that's it yeah so I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video this tutorial I filmed for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And here's a close-up of the makeup that I did. And the eyelashes too. These eyelashes are bomb, you guys. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not. And we'll see you guys on my next video. Thanks, bye.